we have three fields to fill in the first one is company name and then backup panel domain and your WHMCS IP address so this is pretty straightforward um, company name just fill in your company name for this example we are going to use kidswebhost.com so that backup panel domain this is the subdomain you wish to use for your backup panel address you can use backup.yourdomain.com or anything.yourdomain.com for this example i am going to use vault.kidswebhost.com vault and your whmcs ip address you can figure this out by doing a ping on your domain name so i'm on a mac on this demo i'm gonna go use terminal and ping as you can see i done that before kidswebhost.com and we get the ip there so i'm gonna copy the ip address from here and put it here So hit the save configuration. There you go. So you have now your reseller ID and your reseller key displayed here, which you need later on to use the API. And the next part is to update your DNS record. You have to point the subdomain, which you just filled here, to this IP address. So as we are using web host manager i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm just going to go here and type dns on the search box here and go to edit dns zone find my domain the main domain of course and add vault because we do vault.kidswebhost.com in a address a and simply paste the IP address you see from your backup panel hit save okay so that's been saved so to test it out to make sure this actually already point to that address just do a ping again go back to my terminal and do let me clear this out so it's not confusing do a ping to vault.kidswebhost.com as you can see it's pointing to the correct IP address now you can also copy the address make sure it's displaying correctly you should see this so means it has been configured properly thank you that's all for this part and you can continue to the next part